Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your sidebar in SharePoint, also known as the navigation bar. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint, and Teams videos, because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So the reason I'm making this video is because in some of the organizations that I've been in, there was a lot of questions regarding the sidebar on your SharePoint and how you can edit it how to switch up the links, how to edit the links. So I'm just gonna make a quick video on how to do that. I am, will be working in my marketing SharePoint right here. So on the left-hand side, we have a bunch of list and file uh, document libraries. That's because when you add new SharePoint list, file document libraries, there's an option to say, hey, do you want this in the uh, sidebar? Uh, most of the time people just leave it checked and then it gets added to the sidebar and you can have a cluttered sidebar. So as you can see, I have a bunch of clutter in my sidebar and I wanna narrow this down just to like a few lists that I use. So if we go down here on the left-hand side, you will need the correct permission to edit SharePoint sites. Uh, if you don't see this edit button down here, you might not be um, have the permission to do it. So contact the site admins. So I'll click on the, the edit bar and let me move my webcam to the other side. All right. The main things that I'll be working in with the SharePoint is the home screen, the document library screen, and let's say we want to work with the employee data, and then I also want to make a link to another SharePoint that we're working with. So to remove some of these links, so we don't need marketing projects 2022 anymore, it's 2023. So if you click on this triple dot, you can move them up and down. But for this link, I actually want to remove it. So I'll click on remove. And I also want to do this for contacts, grocery list, template library. I want to keep the employee data. We'll keep the holiday schedule up because it could be useful for employees. Birthday list we want to remove, event calendar. And then I have a jump link right here. All right, so we have our list down to four. And I also want to add a hyperlink to another site. So that'd be like the main site in your organization. Just for its ease, so it's used easier for users just to like go to their uh, department SharePoint and be able to access everything. So we'll make it a link. You can also do a few other things, conversations I haven't really done. Uh, you can link it to a calendar, notebook, planner, Teams. I'm just going to make a link because it's the easiest to do. And there'll be our address. Make sure it includes the full address and display name. So this will be the name on the left-hand side that will display. And we'll say um, organization homepage. Open a new tab. I highly recommend this because if they're working on this page, they will likely want a new tab. I know I get frustrated when web pages don't open in new tabs. All right, so it looks pretty good. Let's say I want the holiday schedule above employee data. You can manually drag it above it, or you can manually drag it below it. Uh, you can also use the triple dot, move up, move down. So for the sublink right here, you can actually link. So let me show you. So under documents, there is a sublink employee data. So if I click on save, we can actually see that. Save, so there's a drop down menu right here. So you can make sublinks if you have a bunch of lists that you want and you want to organize it like that. You can have a main list and then everything else underneath it. So I'll actually remove this out of it. To remove it out, I'm just going to drag it down out of here and that will remove the sublink. So if you want to get fancy, you can do sublinks. If not, you can just keep it plain. So that is how you organize your sidebar and navigation bar on your SharePoint. I highly recommend cleaning it up if it's cluttered because users get frustrated if they can't find the links they want to go to. That'll be the quick little SharePoint video for today. If you like the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will catch you in the next one.